Hello everyone and welcome to my video series on Learn German for Beginners. In the previous lesson we did Bestimmte Artikel. In this lesson we'll be doing Unbestimmte Artikel. Lektion 20 Unbestimmte Artikel im Nominativ To be able to understand indefinite articles in this chapter, it is very important that you have learned the definite articles that we did in the previous chapter. Let's do a few sentences to understand them. Das ist ein Mann. Der Mann wohnt in Paris. The definite article, just as the name suggests, is talking about a particular person. The man. That's why these articles are definite. Whereas in the case of indefinite articles, just as the name suggests, we are not talking about a particular man, but just a man. That's why we use an unbestimmt article. Here you have to remember, when bestimmte article is der, then you use ein as the unbestimmte article. Das ist eine Frau. Die Frau hört Musik. When the bestimmte article is die, the unbestimmte article is eine. Das ist ein Mädchen. Das Mädchen tanzt. So in this case, when the definite article is das, the indefinite article is ein. Let's look at the case where we have plural. Das sind Blumen. Die Blumen sind schön. Now since Blumen are in plural, you can say eine or ein. Hence in the case of plural, there is no unbestimmte article. Let's see what we have just learned. Unbestimmte article im Nominativ. For masculine singular, we use ein. For feminine singular, we use eine. And for neutral, we use the same as masculine, that is Ein. There is no unbestimmte article in the plural form. Let's do a small exercise to see what you've understood. Übung In the following sentences, you have to fill in the blank with unbestimmte article. Die Tasche So, what would be the unbestimmte article for die Tasche? Das ist eine Tasche. Das Buch. So what is the unbestimmte Artikel for book? Das ist ein Buch. Let's move on to the next one. Der Elefant. So what would be the unbestimmte Artikel here? Das ist ein Elefant. So now, let's summarize bestimmte und unbestimmte Artikel im Nominativ. For masculine, the bestimmte Artikel is der and the unbestimmte Artikel is ein. For feminine, the bestimmte Artikel is die and the unbestimmte Artikel is eine. For neutral, the bestimmte article is das and the unbestimmte article would be the same as for masculine, that is ein. For plural, irrespective of the gender, the bestimmte article is die and there is no unbestimmte article. Another thing you should remember is these articles are for the nominative case. The further cases will be discussed in later chapters. Also, you can learn the unbestimmte article only if you have learned the bestimmte article of various nouns. 
Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Danke. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, do give me a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Tschüss, auf Wiedersehen.